The heat is caught. So much time has already passed since then. And it seems Sumeru is changing for the better now. Paimon just hopes this peace will last a long time. And then Nahida won't have any more new problems to deal with. Yeah, guess you're right. Hmm. But somehow, come to think of it, maybe it's all because of you. Maybe you're just a magnet for trouble. She was super tired. Paimon got cut. <sighs> anyway, for Nahida's sake, maybe we should think about heading to our next destination. Ah, look who it is. Running into you in a place like this? I can see you two still love wandering around. Oh, it's Dia! Hmm, since when are we just wandering around? We're usually taking care of some serious bi- But never mind that. What brings you- I just finished a commission in the desert for a usual client of mine. Nothing too interesting. Just escorting a shipment of goods. That's when I saw you two all the way over there. Chatting away. What were you t Huh? Y you see- Can't say I saw that coming. Hmm, but you are travelers after all. Bumping into you like this will become a rarity. Ah, I'm starting to feel sad just- Hey, how about I gather a few mercs to escort you two? Thanks, but no need. Oh. Paimon had no clue you'd miss us so much. <laughs> Sounds good. All you need to do to get to Fontaine is cross this stretch of desert and navigate some water. So, uh, when are you leaving? Oh, wait a sec. Paimon just remembered there are still a few dishes in Sumeru that Paimon... Hmm. <laughs> I see. Guess you won't be needing a going away party or anything. Though, now that I think about it, Sumeru wouldn't be what it is today without you. By the way, should we go say bye to Nahida? Oh, good point. Then there's no need- Then, I guess this is goodbye for now, Traveler and Pine. Goodbye, Dia. Bye-bye, Sumeru.
passing all that sand and water, we finally made it! Oh, this must be Fontaine's port! Wow! Everything looks so advanced in Fontaine! Paimon's heard that the industry here, just seeing the sights as a tourist is nice, but maybe it would be better. What do you think? Good idea! Mahita gave us look. Seeking out the seven is probably still our best source for information at this point. Yeah, the more so. What do you think? To learn about a nation's god, start with the nation's people. There seems to be some locals talking over there. Let's go see if we can join the party. If you ask me, it's a tragedy. Yeah, I didn't expect that kind of ending for him. I thought he would at least fight on a little longer for his family. I was expecting a sudden plot twist. Uh, excuse me. Can I help you too? Uh, uh hi. <laughs> We're travelers new to Fontaine. Uh, play? Oh, no, no, no. We're talking about something that... Re really? Like, a real trial? Well, good tales are often based on true stories, aren't they? In what you see in reality, whether something is true or not, simply isn't that important. The main thing is whether the story being acted... Oh, but it looks like you're not from around here. You probably don't know that the font... But, uh... Shouldn't court cases be treated a little more seriously? <laughs> no worries. Other visitors to Fontaine have wondered the same thing. You could say... And as for your worries about whether the cases are treated with due reverence, we, as well as the Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinal, a machine created by the Archon. Between the machine and the Chief Justice, false charges and... The Oratrice? Is it some kind of machine, too? Oh, my... Wait, I might almost forgot to ask you a question. Oh, that's easy. Just go to the Opera House. Lady Farina... Ha, huh. I think what they... In that case, I'm afraid it's going to be a tad more difficult. You'll have... Huh. Is that... No, no. Lady Farina seldom takes an interest with the nation's affairs. That's right. After all, she is the Archon. The... Huh. First time Paimon's ever... <gasps> Wait! Paimon gets now! The Hydro Archon is... Yeah, I suppose you could say that. Hang on. This is still Fontaine's Archon. Yes, you're right. I guess I should at least try to be a little more respectful. Than... <laughs> Come on. Sure, there's a lot of laws here. All right. I think we get it. Thank you. At least we now know that we can find the Hydro Arc. But who knows how long making an appointment... Hey, what are you looking over there for? Huh. Maybe something's the matter. <gasps> she isn't going to jump into the water, is she? Uh, maybe we better go check on her. Oh, okay then. We just... About many things, actually. But there's nothing I can do but just keep my troubles. I was just reminiscing about a place my brother and I would play when we were kids. Uh, you're pointing at the sea. <laughs> Wait, are you saying that... No people call the waters around Fontaine a sea. It's actually just an inland... And no, I can still see that hill clearly in my memories. Now, it's been complete. He would skip and jump, tossing sand in the wind. But now, the water is gradually... <sighs> uh, sir. Ah, I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Are you Lynette's new friends? Oh, and you are... Thanks for looking after my sister. She often comes here to reminisce about our childhood, that's all. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Linny. And this is my sister, Lynette. If I had to guess, I'd say you must be travelers for- Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the trip. We were just talking with your sister. Uh... Hmm, I see. It's unusual for Lynette to be so willing to talk with anyone. In- Oh, really? Then you two are just like us! Paimon's always- 
always the one talking for some reason. <laughs> so that's how you think it is? I also think my brother can be too talkative at time. Oh. <laughs> Seem. <laughs> so, what did Lynette mean just now when she said that the water is in gold? Oh, that. It's from a prophecy that's been circulating in Fontaine for some time now. Well, I suppose prophecy isn't exactly the right word, because that implies a certain... Where to begin? Hmm. Let's put that question on hold for a moment. We still haven't... Uh, did all the introductions earlier not count? Hello, traveler. And hello, Paimon. Hey! Why didn't Paimon get a handshake? You're not poking fun! <laughs> Please, don't take offense. Just consider it a sort of etiquette we have here in Fontaine. Oh! Alright then. Well, by the way, we were just getting ready to go to the Opera House to meet the high... <sighs> so you're going to see Lady Farina? No problem at all. In fact, I was planning to go to the... Please, follow me. You said you were going to see Lady Farina? Well, it seems... in hand and those with nothing at all raise your glasses in celebration if you don't have one as you can all see two unfamiliar travelers have arrived in our nation come let us make a toast in honor of this traveler and his companion who have journeyed here from distant lands I've long heard of the turmoil and chaos you left in your wake as you visited other nations, but I welcome you nevertheless. Fear is for insignificant cowards. I am a god, and I will never entertain the notion of such... Of course, seeking an audience with me is the most sensible thing to do. It will allow you to truly behold my power and wit. I, Thosalor, hereby welcome you to the nation. Yeah, Paimon still can't believe it. Feels like what the Hydra Archon's entrance was. Uh. Hush. Ahem. Uh, Miss Hydra Archon. Uh, I see. As Outlanders, you inevitably lack even some of the most basic understanding. Don't forget that e you had best stop and consider. Do you really have the noble qualities and etiquette? Oh, talk about sounding high and mighty. <laughs> oh, what's with these looks? Perhaps the welcoming ceremony still. Uh... Wow, I didn't expect to see Lady Farina here. Wait, does this mean they're the legendary blonde traveler? How hey, what's all the commotion? Oh, 
Is that Lady Furry? Of course. That's the blonde traveler. The one all those stories are about. Ooh, I've got to see this. I knew... <laughs> Yes, but don't get too excited now. You may consider this my reward to all of you. I have determined that there will be an... Uh, now she wants to, to fight? Are we getting a little ahead of ourselves? Afraid. What are you trying to do, Traveler? Provoking a god in front of her... <clears throat> Stand down, Clorant. I admire his bravery. Few have the courage to draw their... <laughs> Unfortunately, people nowadays only crave to be... Th huh. Yeah, she's right. Just a duel would... <clears throat> On Araneus, criminals are always requesting duels to defend their honor. You see... Then, as the god of justice... All right. right. This is Fontaine, after all. Such a grand... Why do you care so much about the crowd's reactions? Seems you've spent a little too much... Besides, how exactly do you plan to have a duel in court? You mean you're going to... <laughs> oh, we have reason. According to Fontaine Law, no one is permitted to release any flying objects within Fontaine city limits. Oh, so that's what they've done wrong. Uh, that's our Lady Farina. Uh, you call that obvious? What kind of law is that? Wait, precisely. Now, if you two have no objections... My apologies, Lady Farina. I don't mean to spoil the fun. I don't think that Paimon here meets the definition of a fl- You tell her, Linny! Finally, someone who's not crazy! Ah, great magician, Linny. My beloved citizen. <laughs> As a magician who just reigned on your parade, I naturally should shoulder the responsibility. So, with such an audience gathered here, allow me to perform a tr As you can all clearly see, Paimon should be classified as, well, something like a balloon. This rope has been in the Traveler's hand all along. <laughs> you call that magic? <laughs> I thought it was very... Huh. I'm not sure what to think. It's... <laughs> amusing. Very amusing, Minnie. Just the sort of unexpected twist that... Performance? You see all- In which case, consider the matter of your trial resolved. But, when there are valid grounds, I will not only judge travelers from abroad, but even the gods of other lands. I look forward to seeing your upcoming performance at the Opera House, Mr. Linny. Future Paimon. That whole scene just now. Don't mention it. I just happened to remember that there was such a law, so I did a little preparation, just in case. I so, now do you see what. She can be a bit confusing at times, but she is still amenable to reason. Anyway, Paimon had no idea you were a magician, Linny. <laughs> I just know a few simple tricks I use to make a living. 
It will actually be my first time performing on the most prestigious stage. But isn't the Opera House where Crypt... When there are no public trials being held, the Opera House hosts a variety of other performances. And speaking of performances, I would be remiss to forego this opportunity. My brother's always excited to make new... F oh, sure. We don't really have anything... To Splendid. In that case, why don't we go to... Oh, you really mean it? This is a magical item known as a magic pocket. Perhaps... Huh? What are they going to use it for? About that... Hmm... You asked me... I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been... It says that every person in Fontaine is born with sin. No matter how the Nation of Justice holds trial after trial, until one day, the water levels in Fontaine will rise. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain. We- That sounds pretty gloomy. Why are people in Fontaine born- There are lots of guesses. Some say that the ancestors of Fontaine stole the- Others say that the people of Fontaine never heeded the first Hydro Archon's warnings, and if- But here in Fontaine, evidence is what matters. If even the people in Fontaine don't know what sin they committed, wouldn't it be better just to ignore the prop- That's exactly what the people did at first. But... In the last few years, the water levels in Fon- hmm. Many places have already been completely sim- Many people carry on with their lives as before and shrug it off as a natural phenomenon. But my family and I think that the people of Fontaine- We hope that at least the people who reside near the waterfront can move away before it's too late. So, we've started to- As a magical item, these magic pockets have astonishing capacity. I'm sure- Oh! Hyman gets it! Hmm. Perhaps only absolute power could ever contend with such a... Now, if you'd like to help... So you're the blonde traveler. Oh, a magic pocket? See, thanks. What's this? What? You mean... No, no, I believe in the prophet. The story says that people once lived in... But as time wore on... So... Oh. Ah, <sighs> all right. I don't want that. Life is all about living in the moment. You just... Oh, all right, fine. Thanks. It's just that... Oh? You already handed out all of the magic pockets? Hm. That was fast. Yes, but that will change once disaster strikes. I know- Is there anything else you need to do before- Yes, one last thing. I have the magic pockets made by a workshop in the court of- So, you want to collect materials? Just tell us what the materials look- Oh, that would be much appreciated. We'll need some Romaritime flowers. I remember seeing-
dodge this!
Wish me luck. Keep an eye on you. He made quick work of that. I can tell you're an experienced trap. Maybe next time you'll feel like helping too, Lin. No way. I'm in power saving mode today. Otherwise, oh, fine, though the performance is still a long way off. So, we're going to the court of Fontaine before. Wait, shh. Have you noticed that person over there? The young girl. Huh? What's wrong with her? <laughs> She's obviously a. Magicians and thieves practice similar methods. We divert attention and ad watch her movements. Oh, he's right! Shh, keep your voice down. We need to think of a way to catch her, but it seems she's very alert. Perhaps you two can ride the lift over there and wait up top. I bet that'll be her. All right.
For a while now, Paimon wonders if Linny caught the thief. Yeah, let's go. Are you sure that's all she took? You should check to make sure you're not miss. N no, that was all. Oh, anyway, I should be. Were you returning with the thief had stolen? That's right. Pity I wasn't able to catch her. She distracted me by dropping the thing she stole on the ground. I saw the general direction she went, but Linny twisted his ankle, and I needed... Oh, did you get... I'll be all right. It's just a twisted ankle, that's all. If you want to play at being a hero, at least try not to get... <laughs> You're right, you're right. <sighs> I have to admit that the thief was even more sc But at least we were able to get the stolen items back. What a slippery little thief! All right, let's put this little detour behind us. This is an aqua bus. It allows people to travel between several... It's pretty convenient, but the ride can become a little dull after a while. The scenery... So you mean it's still boring? Uh, no, that's not what I meant. It's just that... Besides, it doesn't really feel like a real trip when it's just the two of us. Hmm. What? Guess that's what it's like to be an older brother. <laughs> it's about time for us to leave. riding the aqua bus what are you doing in fontaine i didn't hear anything about yeah it's quite the coincidence but as travelers we're always on the move it's the... uh though we still have no idea how the hydro archon knew about us oh no need for introductions paimon i would recognize i wouldn't be much of a reporter if i didn't know who they were it's a pleasure to meet you nice to meet you from the steambird huh We've often relied on your paper to- It's an honor to meet you. <sighs> now that everyone knows each other, Fontaine suddenly doesn't- So, what have you been up to lately, Charlotte? Any big news? Not too much. When there isn't any breaking news, I mainly cover the trials at the Opera House. You can still manage to keep readers' attention as long as you tell things from a clever enough angle. Even if it's the- For example, reporting on how a scammer once deceived vulnerable girls into relationships. Or how a financial criminal was once so poor that they ate a single piece of bread for five days. Ah, <sighs> you're right. Seems you know me pretty well. What I'm really at. Oh, I just remembered! I've been following a case lately. What? You mean the serial disappearances of young women case? That's right! These 
stories are the talk of the town right now, and it's probably the most mysterious. If I'm the first with a draft ready to publish when the case is finally cr oh! When that happens, I bet all the other reporters will shed. So, what is the serial disappearances of young women? That's right. The first missing girl case happened almost tr And ever since, after a period of time, another girl disappears. What the cases have in common, but the scariest part is that to this day, None. Many suspects have been arrested over the years in connection with this case, but shortly after each arrest, another disappearance would always happen. Yes, it's possible. But either way, I believe that every case has... Yes, I agree. And at the very least, the family of those missing... I just imagined for a second what I would do if Lynette were to suddenly disappear. I'd pay any price to get... Please don't imagine that, Lenny. I really enjoyed chatting with you. Life should be full. Yeah, us as well. The ride went. Oh, I have an interview to get to. I should get going. Okay. Hi, my hopes. <laughs> Bye now. Oh, be sure. What a tough job. Always running around and. In if you don't mind, how about we stop by my home first? Besides. Sure. We wouldn't mind. It.
This is our current abode. Ah, Fremenay, your home. Where... Oh, they all just went out a moment ago. I see. Everyone is getting busier now that Father will be... Allow me to introduce you to my little brother, Fremenay. He is a... Uh, hello. Nice to meet you. Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. <laughs> uh, Linny, could you come here for a... Hmm? What is it, Fremenay? Do you have something to tell me? Okay, I see. Is everything all right? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. We were just discussing a little. Oh, uh, before I forget, the Traveler and I collected more materials to make mat- Yes, I went diving and gathered lots of material. That's our Fremenay. Always- Looks like rain. Oh, you're right. But wasn't it clear and... <laughs> I'm afraid that's just how it is here. It often rains on days where there are trials. <sighs> hmm? What's wrong, Fremenay? There's a legend about the rain that I tend to believe. It's said that a dragon of water once resided in Fontaine. Though we don't know where the dragon went when I was a child. My mother told me that if I wanted to go outside and play... Hydro Dragon! Hydro Dragon, don't cry. If it's an elemental dragon, then having the power to make it rain... Hmm, let Paimon try something. Hydro Dragon, Hydro Dragon, don't cry! Hmm? Huh, <laughs> doesn't seem to be of any use. It is just a legend, after all. You know, you might be a more popular magician if you understood the concept of... <laughs> Sorry, it might be because we've never met the Hydro Dragon. Hmm, it rained for longer than I suspect. Was there something you needed to do? Yeah, some preparations for the show at the Opera House. I need to... On the day of the performance, just ride the Aquabus to the island of Araneus. I'll have Lynette meet you at the fountain in front of... Oh, uh... What is it, Fremenay? I'm in a hurry. Perhaps we could trouble the Traveler to help us take these materials. I'm afraid that Fre No trouble at all! Sorry for the incon- Oh, no need! Hello there. New customers? Looking to buy, or do you need something made? Oh no, we're just here to deliver some materials. Here they are. Ah, these must be for magic pockets. No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they but they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I have. Wow. Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Hey, is this? Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest- But where does a big machine- Ah, uh, well, it's a little comp- But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnity- Huh? How could- Well, I'm not completely sure- When a trial is in session, the Oha- So that's what it's other fun- But- <sighs> Paimon still doesn't get it! Oh, yeah! So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the ma Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way, besides Indemnidium, it isn't produced by the power- <laughs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since- y you again Didn't I already- Yeah, but- Huh? Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. Hey, hold on! Before you go around trying to collect payments, why don't you... If Confrary of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. Ah, uh, you're from uh, Northland Bank. Uh, but we said... 
<laughs> Traveler, Paimon! I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? We're surprised to see you too! What are you doing here in Fontaine? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have... Either way you look at it, it seems... Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. <clears throat> uh, hey, you! Northland back... Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the Traveler like this. What a... Uh, you kidding? Aren't you the one looking for... Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya... Hey! That's way over the line! All right, boys! Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our club, You're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? Uh, I'm sure this won't... Brace yourself! This is gonna hurt! Oh, what's your deal, Brad? How are you so strong if you're just a stabber from Snezh? Oh, now you notice. It's a little late to... Huh? Now's my chance! Huh. That was weird. I'm not sure. It's as if I suddenly lost control of my hydro powers. Strange. How could that happen? First time Paimon's up. Never mind. It doesn't matter. If I want to stay sharp. So what are you doing in Fontaine? Well, I guess it's because. Of... Huh? What kind of reason is that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I still have. But recently, there seems to be some sort of restless power stirring inside of me. Hmm. Maybe you losing control of your. Hmm. That is a possibility. I can't remember if I ever mentioned it before. But when I was 14, it was during that time I learned nearly... She was always quiet and very mysterious. Nobody... One time, I asked her why she was willing to take me on as an apprentice. Because I had awakened it... But... What is it? She never explained that. In my dream... A whale? Oh, that sounds familiar! When we fought against you before... <laughs> That's just an abstract form of a whale that I... It takes that shape because the scene I dreamt of the whale has always been stuck. So you used the whale as inspiration for... So why don't you just go ask your master? Maybe... You make it sound so easy. Ever since the incident I experienced there. But it's been years now, and I... Oh, it sounds... Yeah, I'm out of leads at this point. But, oh, seems the time really flies when I'm talking with you. What? what? Uh, no. Official champion duelist? Yep. In Fontaine, before a criminal goes to court, they're the champion duelists are all powerful fighters selected from among the nation's so engaged. And the worst case scenario is that you're simply, though it's rumored that Fontaine has a death penalty. So really. So do many people? Apparently it's. Besides, none of. Apparently the one. Well, that's child for ya. Hmm. Oh, before I forget, I want. I'm just worried that it could become uncontrollable again. I'd be pretty upset if it got in the way of my duel. So, besides... Hyman knows what you... <laughs> <laughs> that sneaky guy! So who 
again, it's here. It's so exciting to reach the moment when the miss. Oh, uh. Winnie said that the Opera House is on air in ES, so let's go ride the Aqua Bus.
Welcome to the not Realign. I am Elfan. The boat will be departing imminently. Please do not stick your head, hands, or other body parts outside the boat. The Aquabus operator is not responsible for any accidents or injuries resulting from doing so. Also, please remember to buy the Steambird, though I don't read it myself. The destination of the current tour is Erinias. Points of interest worth visiting include the Fountain of Lucene and the Opera Epicles. If you look to the left in the direction we are currently traveling, you will see the famous Fontaine Research Institute up in the sky. An experiment gone wrong turned new sightseeing opportunity. Human ingenuity truly is a wondrous thing. Approaching our final destination. Please be sure to bring all your personal belongings with you as you disembark. Even though I will take any forgotten items to the lost and found, the paperwork is rather annoying as Melazine hands are not suitable for grasping pens. Please be careful when disembarking. It has been my honor to be your tour guide this trip. Thank you. Oh, Archon, please bless us with a- I don't know why you always feel the need to ask so much. I'll be happy as long as our child is healthy. <laughs> I guess if there are, kid. Maybe this is one of the customs in Fontaine. Vache. What's wrong? Vache. Vache. Are you here? Welcome to the Fountain of Lucene. 
all the water flowing through Fontaine converges here. It's customary for newlyweds to come here and wish for... Ah! Oh, oh, Lynette! You scared... Mm, when he asked me to wait... Ah, right. What do you mean? There are a lot of people here right now. Huh? Hey, you're not trying to scare Paimon, are you? Hmm, I see. I might be able to... In fact, you might not be imagining things at all. I suspect that what you've heard is a result of your hypersensitivity to the hydro element. It's because of his sensitivity to the hydro element? But what would hear you... When do you cry, Paimon? Wait, what? Just answer me. When do you... Uh, when Paimon's really sad? Oh, and when Paimon's super happy. Then you should understand that tears contain your most intense emotions. Like I just mentioned, the Fountain of Lucene is where all the flowing water in Fontaine can... So maybe what you heard was the intense emotion coming from... So, what did the voice say? Huh. If you were hearing their emotions... Rather than worrying about them, we should worry about my brother. Don't let that calm look of his fool you. He tends to get pretty nervous just before a performance. Oh, right! Traveler and Paimon, good to see you. I Are you kidding? We want to miss it for the world! We've been looking for- <laughs> I can tell, judging by how early you've arrived. But you're actually right on time. The audience still hasn't started entering the venue yet, which means now is the- The Opera House has assigned seating, so you always have to make reservations. I've already res- Ooh, front row seat- Don't mention it. There's no need to keep- Hey, Lenny! Could you come over here and take a look- Oh, I'll be right there. Seems there's an issue with the stage props over there. Yeah, we'll just go to our seats. Excuse me, I did not realize you felt awkward. I am- I would be perfectly happy to chat with you if that is what you- Oh! Uh... So you heard all of that, did ya? Uh, uh, wait, that's not it, Paimon's- Sorry, um, Paimon's the one- Uh... Oh! Paimon's got it! You're- A friend, you say? Well, if Mr. Linny would like to be my- Oh! So you're not friends with Linny, then? Oh, this is getting... Nice to meet you! Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! We just arrived in Vaudane. It is an honor to meet you two. I have heard of your deeds across Tavat, and as required by proper etiquette, I will... Oh, Monsieur Nervillette! What an honor it is to have... Ah, Mr. Linney. I should say it is in fact an honor for me to see your performance in person. Wait, Nervillette? 
Hmm? I saw you all chatting just now, but it seems you... St Allow me to introduce you to Fontaine's Chief Justice. That seat is always reserved for him. It wouldn't... Ooh! Uh, sorry for being so rude just now. Paimon had no idea... No offense taken. Being Chief Just... And by the way, I should probably let you know... Even though I would prefer... There's someone sitting up there in the VIP seats that has been striking a pose. I believe she is trying to give you a most elegant and impressive. So I think you should take notice of her sooner rather than later. <laughs> huh? Oh, it's Farina, the Hydro Archon. <laughs> she sure... Very good. That is for the best. No need to pay her any more attention. Huh? So is this what things are like between the Chief Justice and the Hydro Archon? All right, please wait just a moment longer. I've pretty much finished my preparations and- Yay! The show's finally about to start! <laughs> oh, they're dimming the lights! The show must be starting! Hmm. Ah, oh, sorry. Bye, Mama. Welcome, one and all, to the Opera Epicles. I am the star of today's show, Linny. And over here is my sister, Lynette, who will be working as my wonderful assistant. Please, let's give her a warm welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I know she may seem to be a little sleepy right now, but that's... Whatever. Now, some of you may be thinking, two vision holders who can freely manipulate elemental powers performing magic is not true magic at all. So, I would like to take a moment to assure you that elemental powers will have nothing to do with what you will witness on this... Both Lynette and myself have removed our visions for the show. That way, even the gods won't be able Oh, good point. That's what makes the show... Now, without further ado, let the show begin. Lynette will now ex... I know you might miss her, but don't worry. She'll be coming right back on stage momentarily. Oh, and before I forget, there's one... You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. A magician's greatest skill is making things disappear or appear. The possibilities are endless. what you came for. These little tricks? You've seen them all before. So it's time for something truly extraordinary, don't you think? This one's a little tricky. Using this water tank, I shall make my sister vanish completely. Right before your very eyes. <sighs> it's actually quite simple. She'll just turn into air bubbles and float right out of the top. I told them to check all the props carefully. With the lid on, even air can't escape. An amateur magician would be getting very nervous right around now. <laughs> Luckily, it's me on stage, so let me show you what a true virtuoso can do. Huh? 
Renette, are you still there? Don't go too far. We don't want to use up all our magic. Hi, I'm back. Uh huh. If we could see easily through his tricks, then that would mean that he's... To appreciate magic, we should focus on the show happening on stage, rather than getting caught. Ah, that's right. Paimon couldn't believe her eyes when Lynette re- Thank you. Thank you, everyone. But our magical journey has only just begun. The magic of transformation and disappearance can go far beyond what you've just seen. I'm sure many of you are thinking that escaping the water tank was impressive enough. But Lynette is... In which case, I have ample time to make... So, for my next trick, I will require the part... Please, if my assistants could bring out the... Ma there are two boxes, and only two boxes. One is here. I'm sure many of our clever audience members have already guessed. Our lucky audience member and I will each enter a magic box. After one minute, we will each emerge. Now please, everyone pay very close attention to the box you see here. Don't give me any chance to make a move. Wow, how's he gonna... Hey, do you think this is all magic tricks, or does Lenny have... The lucky audience member will be generated by this random... It selects numbers entirely at random. Now then, let's begin. Oh, let me... Please, come forward. My assistant will take you... I'm sorry, it might be a little cramped inside, but no need to feel nervous. We've carefully... You don't need to do anything, but no matter what strange things may happen... If the magic is interrupted, who knows where you might end up? You might even find yourself in the... F oh. <laughs> All right. Before I enter the magic box, there is one more thing I need to... Like this. 60. 59. 58. I won't be able to see anything in the pitch black box, so I'll be relying on your voices to Oh, and no tricks now. If you quickly count from 60 in just 30 seconds, then I Ooh! Paimon kinda wants to count faster after you No, no, that won't do. I can see it in your eyes. Come on, repeat after me. 60! 59! That's right, perfect! Keep it going! 54! 53! 50! Why aren't you counting, Nervalette? I am counting in my head. I think things are exciting. Merely a consequence of my identity. Oh! All right. You look so serious that... 40! 39! Mr. Linny, are you all right in there? Is... F yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just double-checking the direction. It would be a disaster if we get sent to the wrong places. For example... Even though he's saying that, Linny doesn't seem nervous at all! Ah! What was that noise? Did you hear it too? Not sure. Anyway, it doesn't seem like anyone's worried. 25! What's wrong, Mr. Linny? I can still hear you moving. I seem to have accidentally knocked over a decoration. I'm trying to fix it, but it's pitch. Never mind the decorations. There's no time for that. No, that's unacceptable. I want my show to be perfect. 19! Uh, it seems things aren't quite going as... It feels like you're all starting to count faster, but that's all right. I know it can be tough. Ten seconds and change is still... Ten! Almost there now. Eight! Whew. Swapping two people is harder work than you might think. Even a master magician like me can't guarantee I'll get it right the first time. <laughs> hey, wait. Is this the back one? I can't tell. They both look the same inside. Huh? No, that's not it. I'll try again. Hey, slow down! Six, Honestly! Five! Four! Three! Uh, whoops! Two, that doesn't count! One, zero!
찾아. <웃음> 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 
I think they look cute on you, Paimon. You have good taste, Lynette! <laughs> That's the right attitude. Feeling dip but with the guards watching our every move, it's a good thing you agreed to be our- Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, just leave- Oh, uh, since we're going to start- Oh, uh, well... I'm afraid that would end- The secrets behind our magic are past saving, Linny. I suppose you're right. <sighs> Tis truly a pity. As a magician, our magic sh But if revealing our secrets will help you uncover the truth behind- We should go somewhere else if- Alright! Let's go have a look while the investigation team's- Hello, officer! How's the investigation going? Ah, uh, I see. You must be the traveler that Lady Farina mentioned. Listen, I'll be- Huh? What you Come with me and you'll see. The deceased is one of Linny's assistants, named Cal. Even though he hadn't joined the troop long, he, the assistants are usually in charge of setting up and inspecting the props, as well as assisting with the show and keeping the crowd in- As you probably saw when you were in the audience, the water tank suddenly fell and smashed the box with Cowl inside it. This is the real mystery. We've already searched the scene and were unable to find- However, if you look carefully, the box was positioned directly under the water tank. The ropes holding the tank were then burned by the pyrotechnics on stage, caused- All these factors lining up so perfectly makes it hard to see that- If anything, the more logical explanation is that the whole incident was intentionally planned, and Linny is the most li- But he doesn't have a motive! Are you both- can't say we're good. So in just a short time, I know there's no such thing as magic. I've seen a lot of cases, and I... Sorry, I tend to be pretty straightforward. Anyway, you may investigate this... Seats were all booked in advance. So, sure, it's not like this is confidential information. We will publish it later anyway when we. Pet Her name is Halsey. She's a painter from Font. Apparently, she wasn't a regular at the Opera House. The Magic Troop members, all simply put, she wasn't related to the Magic Troop at all. Hmm. Were the victims of. That's how it seems to us, in any case. Apart from the fact that they were all young women. <sighs> okay then. I don't need to be so. Fo it is of utmost importance. Investigation team has some new fi- See, I told you. What if the machine picked some big guy's seat? Sorry to interrupt, but we're helping Linny and Lynette with their side of the investigation. You're trying to help them? <laughs> Linny used the machine to pick a random member of the audience during his performance, right? 
Well, we thought there might be a serious problem. The machine. It turns out that the seat number. It wasn't random at all. The I'm sure you already know that you. In other words, Linny. Who would be hmm. that much tech? Let you see why I was saying it'd be tough to make a case for Lenny. I see that you're investigating the area. If you find any new and interesting lead... We don't have too many thoughts yet. <laughs> the thud? Oh, you mean the sound? Yes, exactly. It wasn't terribly loud. It's just that everyone was awaiting the results of Linny's trick with baited... Hmm. That makes... I'm of the opinion that it may... And when the pyrotechnics went off... But wasn't the noise we heard too loud for... Perhaps the... Balance wasn't right, leading to a particular. Oh, that's true. Hmm. That does remind me of. Still talking to the. I think someone. Lenny's still talking to the. I think someone. Mistaken. You're also among those who wish to... Well, you're right on the more about that one, but who are you? <laughs> Have you never heard of... From mediating disputes and providing protection to solving conun... And I, Navia, have the honor of being its renowned president. Though those who play by our rules call me boss. I'm Silver, her attendant. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Melus. Demoiselle's ve- Huh? Boss? <clears throat> well, I am the second generation- My apologies, Demoiselle. Should you prefer- No, no need. You don't have to call me boss. Just- Okay! If you say so. Not that remember- <laughs> All merely trifling detail. That's right. I've always kept an eye on the serial disappearance cases. My interest- Judging from the look of things- Really? We think so too! That's why we're the- But how did you come to- Intuition, naturally. Farina sure was quick to point- But that's not uncommon for her. If you remember, the justice had to interrupt her and ask if she was pressing- Anyway, a trial be- Sounds more like you just don't- Well, what's your opinion? All right, I've answered your question. Wait a minute, did that- Well, I say it does. But don't worry. In your opinion, do you think it's right to treat a trial like- Um... Well? And why would that be? <laughs> Most astute of you, Demo. No matter how wonderful this- That if that can be- Alright, that's quite- Now, I need to make some preparations, following which our- Wait! Since when did we become assistant? Mm hmm? Uh -huh. That's more like it. Far be it from you wish to save a friend from false accusations, and we wish to unravel the. Hmm. You have a point. And what about you over there? What do you think? You seem like you've got. <laughs> 
I have nothing to add. Oh, we'll be making some preparation. Sorry, but no one. Ah! No, we're not leaving. We're represent. Were you always guarding this entrance? Yes. After the Chief Justice gave the order, everyone coming. So, the missing girl couldn't have left for me. I doubt there was much. How can you be so sure? Well, because I was in charge of security, I couldn't see Linny's performance from here. But still, I did not abandon my post. And I stayed put no matter how loud the applause. We Melazines are good at that sort of thing, you know. So, it's safe to say the girl couldn't... Understood. Then I will be going with you. Just so you're aware, I will- Very good. Thanks for being so agreeable. I'd pull- You may spare the pleasantries. I'm just do- You've arrived. Uh, who's this? Me? <laughs> I'm Spina de Rosula's guardian angel. If you've got a problem- <laughs> Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Call me Navi, and these are my companions. Would you mind if they join? Hmm? Oh, new helpers? Well, let's just say we're tagging along. It's not... <laughs> I appreciate your kind interest. Come with me. We'll be heading below stage. Huh? Below stage? Yes, a world of secrets is... But before I reveal everything, you should have a look first. Notice anything strange here? I'm not trying to be dramatic. Remembering the details of a trick will help you understand the methods used to perform it more- Huh. Weren't there balloons and other decorations here? Ah, good eye. That said- Uh, the back? You mean the inside of the- <laughs> Very good indeed. I thought you might not be- The back of this door was patterned. Those patterns are now gone, replaced by a smooth wooden board. So, if you put two and two together... <laughs> exactly. All right, let's... Oh, so there was a passageway under the magic box! <laughs> I knew you'd figure out most of it as soon as you saw this. The two magic boxes are positioned right above the two... See this flatbed trolley? The box with the lucky audience member in it would be shuttled over to the other side. This trolley can raise and lower and even rotate, ensuring that the box will face in the right direction. I see. So that's... Precisely. The inner box would descend after the audience member. So that's how you did it! Once the box was lowered, the trolley would store some energy through this device. The audience member would only be able to feel some... Right! You were talking that whole time! Ah, yes. A phonograph operated by Lynette was... My assistant and I had already scripted our conversation beforehand. When the countdown began, I had already gone to... And what about Lynette? I was in the mezzanine space in the back of the box. Oh, interesting! That's how we were able to coordinate Lenny's lines with the assistant. And, by the way, I was the one who... I mean, we are twins. All it takes is a change of clothes and no one can tell who's who. <laughs> And that's my favorite part of this trick. Only Lynette and I... So that's how it all worked! Wow! Every Lynette would briefly walk out of the box and then go back in, jumping into the tunnel and escaping before the box on... And then I walk out of the other box in the audience area. And the trick would be... But as you saw, Cal was in the box, not our audience member. She on the... We really don't know how that happened. If not for that interlude, this would have been an astonishing trick. I probably... And yet, to think that someone was able to use this... Could we have a look around? I think we can... This is the scene of the crime. So Linny and Lynette are not permitted... To... Yes, of course. No need to be so strict now. Thanks, everyone. We're cap...
The floor is wet. Please be careful not to slip. Speaking of which, why? Oh, hi, my nose. It's one of those tricks where you pour water into a jet and here's a broken vase. Uh, that can't be. The trolley moves along track. For a different trick. Whatever it is. What? Oh, these are the clothes that the lady chosen from the audience. Her clothes are here, but she's nowhere to be found. Right. And do you really need to do that? Ugh, this is so confusing. It seems someone could fit through here. Huh. Could this have been... Mm, alone, perhaps. But if they had... But there are no other ways in or out of here. Oh, you're right! Let Paima... Seems we're just about done investigating down here. Yes, let's head back up. Ascertain the state of the crime scene. Let's find a place to sort out our findings once Malus returns. Seems to me. Apologies for the wait, Demuzzi. So, what did the guards say? Did the criminalist? They believe the odds of that are very low. The guards have checked the area carefully. No one left through the basement during the performance. So the tunnels become like a secret chamber then. You know, like the kind you. Hmm. The plot thickens. No wonder Farina was so confident in her. In other words, the charges are very likely to be upheld unless. Charges and then trial. So That's right. This is how a trial. That's right. This is how in depth the statements from both sides, the defenses from attorneys. To put it simply, it's as if. This also precludes any kind of fate. Once both sides have finished speaking, the Chief Justice will make his final decision. Then, final. Huh? So that machine is the one that actually decides? <laughs> In practice, there is... Ah, yes, the guards also asked me to convey that none... Huh? Because we've chosen to act as the twins' proxies. That makes us person... Uh, they're concerned that we might... And even if that were not... I'm ready to break out at any time. Whoa, whoa, there's no need for that. Paimon thinks they have a... Of course. I just hope you don't mind the... In that case, let's just sort out our findings together here. I mean, what better way to proper... Huh. Breaking out, so don't... Just kidding! Just kidding! Paimo will... Hmm? What do you mean, no snack? Huh? Understood, demoiselle. Everyone, please come with me. Wait, you're carrying a portable stove with you? Yes, I must be prepared to meet the demoiselle's baking needs whenever... The I have eggs, sugar, and almonds at the ready. <laughs> Good work, you two. Then I'll get to it. Please sit tight for a moment. These three are quite the interesting group. Ah! And Paimon thought it smell From the way you had these two guys carrying all that stuff around, Paimon, but you ended up doing the entire thing. 
I was applauding. And I was giving encouraging smiles. I... I was just thinking. <laughs> well, I don't think it's car... Don't underestimate beating egg weights by... Anyway, give these a try. Fresh out of the oven. There's only food... Well, eating too many sweet treats might send all that sugar to your head. <laughs> Tea is ready to be served as well. No need for concern. I merely... All right, then. <clears throat> Down to business. As Paimon met... However, we can... The magician twins could have committed the crimes, of course, but they lack any... Exactly! Why would they do such a thing right? The flower vase and the thud we heard during the performance, resulting in the shattering of the vase, that is... Perhaps the criminal thought that's in... She was sh Paimon thinks that makes sense. <sighs> True. But the only people left to consider are both technical. Huh. Could Halsey have secretly made modif- <sighs> That's right. And even if she had tampered with us, nor does she have any motive. <sighs> Were we not thorough enough? From the sound of things, this your macarons are amazing. <laughs> what? Five? Oh, that can't be right. Please don't worry about it. At my age, a few lit. Uh, no, no, besides, Paimon knows that if she ate too many, then others wouldn't have enough. Wait, even you don't believe Paimon? Uh, how could you? If Paimon ate those two extra macarons, then may they turn into stuff. <laughs> All right, we. Malus, set up the stove. Huh? Making sure everyone gets three macarons of. Exactly. We As you wish, the. And I have the egg. Uh, well. Well, that's it for snack time. I don't know what it would be. All right, thanks for your... Oh, it was nothing. A small task for the Spina di Rosula. Silver, Malus, it's time to go. I'll be back if I find anything new. All right, it's time to put our heads together. We've got to get our defense ready for the trial. Oh, it's probably going to be a... Impossible things don't just happen. Uh, just relax. Even if everyone else suspects Lenny and Lynette. Besides, I doubt for... Thanks, Navia. Best of luck to you. Ah, oh, finally, you're back. Well, how did your investigation go? To be honest... 
be disappointed. No, no. We're already very great. Now, now, don't you all look disappointed. That was to be expected, of course. The guilt, but don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial reg Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. L yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. Thank you, Mr. Linney. In that case, I take your statement to be you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution. Lady... Why, of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Mr. Linney is clearly lying. There is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In that is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Oh, is that so? And if I may act... The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticip- And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing. No, nothing. I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. Once- Huh? Hey, hang on! Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from- in I was right by the box and I definitely heard- Gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. Of course, I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Heart? The House of the Heart? No wonder they did something like this. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Now it all makes... I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Indeed. Then perhaps you could talk... <laughs> Everything that happened during that one minute. Your first priority is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret. <sighs> the Outlander is speechless. My oh my, don't they look flabbergasted. <laughs> now comes the in- oh, Good thing I made all those preparations. Seems the- <clears throat> Hey, Linny! Why didn't you- d Order! Order! Mr. Linny, allow me to reestablish. First, when the thud was heard in the Opera House, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both mem- Are these claims true? Please answer my quest- I'm sorry. Yes, they're true, Your Honor. I knew it! Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentence. What should we do now? Granted. In that case, what is your request? Is that really necessary? The defendant deceived their own attorneys. Order! Order! Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. This- <laughs> So you would stick to Mr. Linney's defense? In that case, my dear audience, let's- Well... This is... awkward. I didn't... I'm sorry, Trap. Yeah. Ugh. Paimon just knew 
where to start. We, tr we based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really... I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the words, but our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very... Right now, we want to save people. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some deep... The truth is very important, but being completely transparent about everything... Right. So, you be the judge. Heck, if I were you, you met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster, but, but still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. Sorry, please. Well, you both say that, but... Right, let's hear your answer first, and no... Of course, I'll answer any... Qu We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness, what? During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick, with the objective of getting... Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent, and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, which should have been impossible, of course, I was quite certain that I was the only one. That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak to me. I chose to err on the side of... On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't... After that, the homicide... Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. Because of that prophecy I told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secret. That's the only way we can save ever... So... There you have it. The whole truth. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud, but like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't- Well, Traveler, you decide. Paimon will follow your lead however you choose. Okay. Thanks for giving us a- The current problem is that the scales are tipped pretty badly. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're gonna- Huh? Hmm... Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue. When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may... Ugh, that took long enough. At this stage, let's revisit that scene from Linney's perspective. began, he entered the tunnel. When the flatbed trolley passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, which caused... He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the op... Finally, he used the vase to knock her out, before making her change clothes to prevent others... At this time, Cowell... So, Linny proceeded... Afterward, Linny... And there you have it. That's... Does the defendant's side have any object? The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. What Linny experienced. And...
Hmm. Seems this won't produce a part. Hmm. According to Linny, he left via the vent after entering the tunnel. He couldn't have had that. Linny went to the. Linny did not. <clears throat> Attention! Ace Detective, when the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. Finally, he reached the surface, and that was when the axe... Halsey is the missing person. The deceased's name is Cowell. Could there have been a third person? Halsey is the missing person. The deceased's name is Cowell, Linny's assistant. So, how 
And what I must do next is recreate the truth. What Cowell did, and how he went from wood... No one entered or left... The sound we heard may have come from a... It would have been tough for both people to fit... The sound we heard may have come from a clap. Linny was not in the tunnel at the... It would have been tough for both... Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. No one entered or left the opera house through its entrance. The deceased's name is Cowell. Halsey's clothing was in the... The sound we heard may have come from... Linny was not in the tunnel at the... It would have been tough for bo... Linny was not in the tunnel at... It would have been tough for both people to... entered or left. It would have been tough for both. The sound we heard may have come from a clap. The deceased's name is Cow. entered or left What's wrong, traveler? Are you still having trouble? <laughs> I look since we're at a dead end, why not cons- Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been up- If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits! And it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real life person dis- <laughs> If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. Linny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. The sound we heard may have come... The deceased's name is Cow... The vase was not broken by... from the water tank, vanishing gradually and leaving only... If there's a similar method, or a... <laughs> oh, just a moment, please. How could a person ever be transformed into water? This... Ma magic tricks are ultimately just elude... Even so, I... Tr the truth must be out there somewhere. Perhaps some new line of reasoning may open if we... Since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belonging. <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end... Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, guards, please step into the lounge and examine the... We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with it. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage. Each... The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are... 
water from the, the primordial sea. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomp. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen. As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is... You've got to be kidding! People dissolving... Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Wait a moment. This reminds me of a certain prophecy, but... Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And wait just a minute. Could that mean... Demoiselle, wait! What about your part? Mm, let's go. Order! Order! <laughs> it is un- Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence. Of course. Think. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues- Right! Like the metal hook! That one didn't make sense at all! Hmm. Let's think about this! Cowell's methods must have something to do with that water from the primor- The deceased's name is Cowell. The water from the primordial st The water from the primordial st Lynette was in the magic box on stage the entire- I remember there was something The water from the primordial sea sh The rope that held the water tank and Now it seems like the hook Remember, there was some. Ahem. It's Ace Detective Paimon! In the original plan, Cowell would tamper with the water tank rope, and the number selector. Containing Halsey was lowered, the metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial seed is... Afterward, Cowell would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being fatally hit by the same tank he meant to use to cover huh that does that actually links together a lot of the more confused <sighs> oh dear what do i do even i think they sound convincing now it seems like the only point of contention remaining his notes mentioned he had an accomplice who could be related to the city on that note the guards have just contacted me indicating that they uncovered i shall now invite him on stage to share it with us Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people, and we found an identical sample of the water from the primordial sea. Of what? That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, does this not... My dear citizens, my look. Linny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. 
Indeed, having made modifications to the props beforehand, his account but upon him ultimately he now as much as Am I right? We've used up all the evidence. Is this the end of the I must ask you not to shout. And oh, come on. Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Now, I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh. What? what? No offense, miss, but... Mi come on now, don't be silly. Magic is all about... But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth? And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous... Come on, Lenny and Lynette. Give it another go. Don't worry. Spina de Ris But, as the magic makers and stars of the show... I understand. And voila! Um, uh... Wait, isn't that Halsey? So, the whole thing about... To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen... I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one... I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. <laughs> That'll teach you to underestimate... Where should I begin? <sighs> I'm so... What? what? Firstly... My name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian. And I heard that Linny's show was gonna be a real thriller. But I missed the chance to buy a ticket. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there. And, but I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and I barely got away. Linny was the one- Hey! No wonder you look familiar! So y Linny even mentioned that you were pretty skilled! Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. <laughs> so I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. I wasn't going to take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. There was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. Can a person even hide in there? But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lily. Strange sound. Hmm. Hmm. The flower. Lillian. And it's instant. Having been selected out of the blue, it, her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. So she kicked. Open. Hearing the commotion, Cowell leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillianne had... He did not know that Lillianne was not from Fontaine, but was a thief, who mistakenly believing the...
that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect. The two broke the flower with no way of escaping. She chi- Guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So she has been. She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. So she swiped two of them right under our nose. At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel. Ah, so that. Bravo! Now then, Lady Farina, do you wish. I. Uh... Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. As such, I request... <sighs> what? Are you reading my mind now? <sighs> no. I have no further argument. Wow! Look at that! If there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall what The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be... To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would concede... He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a... Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine, and thus fled the box with a la Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box and thus became his own. Lillianne, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended before hiding in... As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the Opera House. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that... <laughs> While there is much in Linny and Lillianne's conduct that should still be investigated, this case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final... As such, Linny and Lynette are officially <laughs> Great work, part. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. How did you find the water from the Primordial Sea in Lin- uh, Right! Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know! Or- I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? I... <laughs> I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one- I... I was just following- We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-up said this was the best- And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liar. Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know, and seek the- <laughs> Yes! I'll tell you everything I know. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. It can also be made into a potion, which, when extremely diluted, can... We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss... <laughs> and now he can no longer talk. Such ruthlessness. <sighs> An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. So, 
We're just going back now? That's true. Traveler, Paimon, please wait. Lenny. I know you may not want to speak to me right now. Maybe you don't even want to look at but still. Let me thank you again for defending me to the end. Even I, I guess. But regard, I didn't approach you with any ulterior motives or ill intent. As for why I'm a Fatus, it's because the goals of the House of the Hearth align with those. That was how Father, who you might know as the Knave. The Knave? The one who controls the House of the Hearth? That's right. And since we're here, I back when our parents first died, Lynette and I were left wandering to survive. I took to Sarah. I took my sister through several. S to my surprise, before long. And so you went from orphans to nobility just like that. That was how we felt at first. But I gradually discovered that he would constantly. That doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> it took a while for me to realize. Just after one particular, I waited a long. The answer he gave. Oh no. <sighs> but what if Fontaine's laws deal with? Such as far as outsiders are concerned. This is a relationship. I managed to ferret out the location of the mansion of that so-called eminent person and hurried through the night. But by the time I... All I saw was the moonlit ground covered in blood. So... She'd already taken care of... That's right. She had rescued my sister before she could come to any harm and had even discovered several... Father, I mean, the knave might have seen something in me, and so she made- The House of the Hearth welcomes you, for your interests align with ours. I was hesitant to trust her. I mean, I had- But she was also quick to destroy the noble who had taken- Oh, so that's how the two of you joined the House of the Hearth. She has her own- She has gained permission from the Sarita to first use the Gnosis's- So, she believes in that prophecy t That's right. The whole House of the Hearth is currently working to Today's case has also proven that people from Fontaine can indeed dissolve all of us house members here. To us orphans? So, from small deeds like this- It's alright, I understand. I just hope you can understand that even as a- If you should need anything at all in the future. Hey there. What was with the disappearing act you pulled right as the trial ended? Were you looking for us, Navi? Well, this whole thing isn't exactly over, is it? I do feel that we're getting closer to solving this- Huh? What's wrong, my dear partner? Besides! Are you sure we're the ones who've been cracking- And given that there's new evidence from the trial, there should be a trail of breadcrumbs. Ah, I see. Well, I won't lie. I'm a little shocked to hear that from you. Sorry. I might have been too- Don't say that. Ah, and we were having so much fun investigating with you, too. It was like having new waters flowing- uh, <laughs> Sorry about that. Wait, shall we have a farewell meal? You know, to come- Huh? Do we? Well, I just like to have a proper ending to every important. Anyway, it would just be a meal, so it shouldn't take up too much. You don't have to twist. Oh, wonderful! All right then, let's have our.
closer.
Once, there was a glorious kingdom established among the heavens. From that kingdom came a crowned heir, tasked with seeking out the Genesis Pearl from the Kingdom of Darkness. The first crowned heir began her journey of seeking the Pearl. But she was deceived, and the memory of her noble origins faded. She now believed that she was the queen of the Kingdom of Darkness. But take heart. A second crowned heir had already taken up the path where the first had stumbled. This is the story of your journey. Of your tale to be told.
Let the magic begin!